It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Our game tonight featuring the New Orleans Pelicans as they go up against the Bulls out in Chicago. Last outing for the Bulls, they won that game against the Magic at Amway Center. Feeling confident after a runaway win. We'll see if they carry over some of that momentum. Remember, when the New Orleans Pelicans were sold in 2012, the new ownership was eager to compete, trading for veteran talent to complement the number one overall pick, Anthony Davis. Aside from a single playoff appearance, though, it's been mixed results. Oh, Kenny. mixed result, because sometimes when you try to take shortcuts, you get shortcut it and stuck uh, and that's what happens that's and good life advice no I question think. you can't take shortcuts to greatness no and you have to. there's yeah. another one there's another jewel yeah i tell you <laughs> let me give you another jewel. one there's another jewel I'm just you mining one more? for nuggets over I'll give here you one yes. more. yeah give me one an ounce of prevention is a worth better than a pound, pound of, of cure there it is there's another one yeah there's an apple question. a day keeps the doctor, Cereal doctor away. away oh no yeah. But obviously it doesn't because we both had apples, but you're still here. Yeah. And you know those memories of losing Chris Paul are still fresh. They're going to have to start winning to keep Davis around. Chris that's Paul? No, that's like 15 years yeah, ago. doesn't man. matter. The memories are still there. Man, oh. I forget what we were even talking about. Give me another old adage there. I got one. The memory is still there. The like bigger the they are, in the, air. the harder they fall. Mm-hmm. We have an interconference affair lined up for you today as the New Orleans Pelicans come in for this one. We've got an action-packed Saturday night of NBA action for you. Thanks for joining us. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. And, of course, they're still without Anthony Davis. When you take away points in the paint from the offense, which is what he provides, that really takes away your balance in terms of attacking the defense. And so it's going to be a major loss. Tip-off goes to New Orleans. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Darius Miller out there with Diallo. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Rajon Rondo, and it's Holiday in a two-guard. Now here's Cousins playing Dallas. He was nearly unstoppable. Second chance shot. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Grant kicks to Markinen, makes it off the glass. And Markinen continuing to improve inside. I mean, utilizing his height, the D has a tough time matching up with somebody with his skill set. And here's Rondo. There's the pick. No good there. On defense, the Pelicans. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. I tell you what, how efficient they were at scoring the basketball, especially for an away game, that was impressive. Yeah, it was almost robotic, Greg, in this one. They filtered out all the noise and came in razor-sharp precision on the offensive end. He gets it in there. 
early in the regular season here. Some teams off and running, but Brent, if you've had a, a talented roster that's not coming together yet, what steps do you take to try to, to, to get that compass pointed in the right direction? Well, I guess it depends on the players that you're, you're looking at, Kevin. If you've made a move in the offseason with a veteran guy who you thought was going to do A, B, and C, and you only see him do A, then maybe you got to think about the lineup needs some tinkering. But if it's younger guys and still guys who are trying to develop, and now you're asking them to expand their games, I think you got to err on the side of being patient to see what might transpire over the course of the entirety of the season. Well, he's like a carpenter out there. Great floor awareness. Zipping the ball over to his teammates with ease. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Levine kicks to Grant. Lopez inside. Cousins is there. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Grant. And, and where's the help? Obviously a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Well, you have to be able to trust each other on the defensive end of the floor. Otherwise, the whole thing is just going to crumble. Now, here is Holiday. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Pulls up. Holiday with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. The Bulls get it back in a new 24. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. Just a moment to look back at how things were last season for this team as we look at the shot breakdown for Chicago. They stayed away from being too reliant on the three-point shot. They used it when they had to, but kept things balanced. And that's what you want to have, an offense that comes at you in all sorts of ways. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Cousins with a screen on Grant. The drive by Rondo, and it's sent back by Lopez. Rondo against Grant. Lopez dishes to Markinen. Grant gets a wide-open look. Drills the three-pointer. Grant's got five. And you got to like the vision for Markinen. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Screen by Cousins. Rondo kicks to Holland. Cousins with a screen for Holiday. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Holiday's got his first basket of the night. Flawless pick and roll motion there, executed to perfection by Drew Holiday. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Holiday against Holiday. And always good to see Rondo being active defensively, more than capable of shutting down his man. The feed now to Holiday. Screen by Cousins. Here's the screen. And Holiday, here we go. Here's Diallo. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. The Bulls have gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Grant kicks to Levine, fires the three. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got three rebounds now in this one. Pass to Holiday, a baseline J. Another one falls for New Orleans. Now remember, this is a former All-Star in the Eastern Conference, Drew Holiday knocking down the mid-range jumper. There's the dish to Markinen. Here's Levine, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And certainly while the injury for Zach Levine and his ACL was devastating, Greg, it's good to see him back on the court, and he seems to be on track to making a full recovery. And Kevin, still amazing to me to see just how far the medical community has come in terms of treating ACL injuries. Uh, Levine is such an athletic monster. To lose even a little burst would have been huge. Fortunately, though, with modern medicine, it's going to allow this guy to make the most of his potential still. The first one falls.
and so Levine nails both of them. And one of the pieces of the Jimmy Butler trade this offseason, Zach Levine finds himself as a prime building block for a rebuilding team. The Bulls see him as a star of the future. And rightfully so, even given the fact that he's recovering from the ACL surgery, Levine is young and can grow his game with the team. Hard to get fair value for a player of Butler's ability, but, but Levine is a great place to start. Offline with the baseline jump. For New Orleans, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Miller with another miss. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. And it's Levine that time on the assist by Holiday. The mindset right now is pretty strong. Superb at staying aggressive and right now stringing some plays together. Rondo kicks to Cousins. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Grant kicks to Lopez. Back to Grant. Six to shoot. Markinen passes to Grant. And that one, good. Grant's got seven points in the game. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Rondo. He had 10 points in the win against the Mavericks in Dallas. And guys, what impressed me most was his passing. He constantly looked for the open man and found guys in great spots. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Cunningham, he's checked in for Diallo. Hill comes in for Miller. Allen's checked in for Drew Holiday. And Ian Clark subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Now, here's Valentine. An 11-point game for him in the win against Orlando. And Miritich kicks to Felicio. Back to Miritich. And again, no good by Chicago. The Pelicans trail. Second shot opportunity. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And Allen, just an incredible defender. Has a grit and grind mentality and uses his speed and strong hands to just annoy offensive players. And the Pelicans' 2017 first-round pick went to the Kings as part of the DeMarcus Cousins trade. Brent, how does this team find help along the perimeter? A lot of this comes down to the Pelicans and, and scouting not only the NBA and the college Take ranks, but maybe Take the international ranks to try to find some guys to come in and be not only three and D players, but also good cohesive players to play alongside what DeMarcus Cousins can do and what Anthony Davis provides. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And for many years, the Chicago Bulls were viewed as a model franchise, always were competitive and in the hunt for a title, but this current version just can't escape turmoil from within. New Orleans making a switch here. A Jensen's check in, and they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And the Bulls finally committing Greg to a full rebuild this last offseason. Yeah, and, and trading Butler was the start of it. I mean, they, they got some young players to build around and a pick, and it won't be an easy road ahead, but one they felt they needed to make. And when Miritich first came over to the NBA, he made a big splash, showed that he can act as that stretch four and, and contribute. Unfortunately, he, he just hasn't evolved as a player since that rookie year. And that one falls for Miritich. And for Miritich, a lot of his lack, Greg, of progression as a player has come from inconsistency. And you can see it in his field goal percentage as well as when he plays. It needs to find more consistency in every facet of the game. But young enough, I think, to, to still make that happen. 
And so Miritich nails both of them. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Clark dishes to Cunningham. And he feeds it to Ajinsa. Drills the elbow jumper. Ajinsa's got his first points in this one. And this is what it's all about, guys. The competitive spirit, the energy that we're seeing. This one's got the feeling like it's going to go down to the wire. And if it does, as evenly as these two teams have played here, it's anyone's guess who's going to come out on top. Chicago with the ball. The Pelicans make their last shot. And again, Chicago, no good. Here's Clark. He had 13 points in the win against Dallas. Cunningham passes to Hill. Six on the shot clock. Chicago grabs the miss. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. They executed on the road, stayed focused, stay consistent with who you are as a team. Such a confidence builder to go on the road and be able to dictate the tempo, the style of play, keep your identity. They were able to do that here. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Dunn kicks to Felicio. Pass to Pondexter. To the left side wing. Miritic has a wide open look. Off target with his three. Pelicans leading by three. Here's Clark. Kicks it to Ajinsa. Allen outside, passes it to Cunningham. Now here's Allen, over Valentine. Ajinsa kicks to Clark. Outside Hill. Feeds it to Cunningham. Outside Hill. From past the arc. That shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Dishes to Valentine to end the drought. Excellent D there from Allen. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And yes, it's good. New Orleans has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Here's the screen. Clark for three. Good on the three-point shot. Clark's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. Now here's Valentine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Count the basket. There's just no way you are stopping Dunn when he's that close to the bucket. A, a skilled finisher and amazing athlete. Here is Agenza. The shot, no good. And it's Chicago the other way. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. In last season, they made short work of this club. Two games, two wins. Sort of representative of how they each finished the season. One a playoff team, the other on the outside looking in. I think things may play out the same way this year, too. You know, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Here's Felicio. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Clark kicks to Hill. 41 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Cunningham. Makes a big height bounce and goes in. And the Pelicans lead by two. That's just superb work from Dante Cunningham pounding his way down in the paint and getting the easy look. Dunn dishes to Valentine. They set the pick. Here's Miritich, and the layup is good. 
Miracic has got the game tied up here for the Bulls. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Pick up by Hill. Allen left side. He got it up. No good on that last second attempt there. It's all tied in Chicago. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. It's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here and taking a look at Chicago's performance here guys uh, what have they been doing or not doing through that first one uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat love the pace they're playing with anytime you can get your offense going without the defense setting up it's got a huge advantage the Bulls shooting at 50 percent in a decent group on the court right now second quarter for the Pelicans We've got Solomon Hill. Allen is out there with Ian Clark. Then it's Alexis Ajinsa, and it's Cunningham in at the four shot. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. Here's Clark. He doesn't hit that one. Credit the defense. Wisely avoiding fouling the shooter. Don't want to give up a personal there. And he made him attempt a difficult layup. Miritic sets the screen for Dunn. Valentine passes to Miritic. Kept alive. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Hill kicks to a Jensen. Got a hand on it. Inside. Here's Felicio. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Felicio's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Bulls. Here's Clark. To the wing right side. Allen outside. Down to five on the shot clock. A picture-perfect screenplay, and the jumper's good. Alvin Gentry plucked away from the Warriors staff that won a title in 2015, and he was an assistant coach there. He sees the opportunity to take over his own team once again after having coached in Phoenix and headed to New Orleans. Now has a ton of talent on the inside. Can he get some guard help this year to make a push to the playoffs? And the basket by Hill. And the Pelicans lead by two. How about the speed in the open floor from Solomon Hill? Looked like he was running downhill. Now, here's Valentine. Defended by Allen. Felicio. Boom! He jams it straight down. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. So often nowadays in transition, Brent, we'll see a guy get to the rim and kick it out to someone standing at the three-point line. What's your feeling on that? Kevin, who's at the three-point line? Well, let's say Brent Barry's up. I'm more than okay with that. <laughs> you know, so, some, of the guy, some of the guys, Kevin, in the new age are, are running to the three-point line. And as the ball gets to the rim, yeah, the modern-day fast break is not your classic three-on-two. And we're going to take the wings coming in, and we're going to feed one guy for a layup. That first available wide-open three-point shot whether two seconds into the possession or 12 is something coaches are willing to live with. Problem is, though, sometimes that big wants to run and does run, but you don't reward him, and then maybe they don't run the next time down. That's exactly right, Kevin. You have a big guy working that hard. Problem is, in today's game, some of those big guys are also running to that three-point line. You're exactly right. <laughs> the Pelicans have gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Levine against Holiday. Miller outside. Back to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Screen by Cousins. From the arc. 
And Holiday is good for three. Holiday's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, that one definitely set up by the screen. Holiday got a nice, clean look at the rim. Grant dishes to Lopez. And Levine, here we go. A beautiful reverse layup. Levine's got his second bucket of the night. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Screen by Cousins. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Grant against Rondo. Kick out to Levine. Again, Levine missing. And lots of credit for the team around him. They're picking up the slack here tonight. He just can't buy a bucket right now. Chicago's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Lopez a screen. Here's Holiday. The fader. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got his seventh rebound here tonight. The pass to Diallo. And it's sent back by Lopez. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. Holiday with another miss. Shot from the wing. And that one hits back iron. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Well, being aggressive is one thing, but aggression with control is another. And you need both elements working together. And last year, the Bulls, Greg, just didn't threaten anyone from outside. Uh, I think a big problem has just been personnel. You know, some of the guys they brought in as shooters just really haven't panned out. And that lack of shooting from deep is why this offense can grow stagnant at times. The free throw drops for Grant. And Grant drops them both. Kevin, these are easy points. Remember, free throws. At the elbow, it's Cousins. There's a screen. He kicks it to Miller. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. And Cousins surveying the floor and does a great job at his size, seeing over the top and finds the guy in the weak side. Grant against Rondo. Grant kicks to Lopez. Outside Rondo. Shoots over Grant and unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Holiday against Holiday. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. That one is on Holiday. And Justin Holiday, one of the many Holiday siblings to play hoops. Well, he's worked hard to get here, Kevin. Went undrafted and came up through the D-League and is capable, a long wing defender who maybe with some nuance and some some time put in can become more of a three and D guy in the NBA. That free throw missing. And he sinks the second. Hey, Brent, looking at the mental aspect of the game, we usually think about crafty veterans, but who are some of the craftiest young players that you see right now? That's a good question, Kevin. I, I might have a few surprise answers for you. How, how about Tyler Johnson, maybe? Malcolm Brogdon in Milwaukee Great last names. year? Who, Absolutely. Who showed some things as, as an older uh, rookie playing four years in college at Virginia. Chris Dunn, he's got a bit of trickery to him. And the last guy I'll throw out there is 
Joe Ingles has a little spice to his game when he's got the basketball in Utah. No doubt disappointed with that one. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, I'd put that play on repeat. The setup was perfect. Just need a better result next time. Holiday with it. He's got seven. Here's Rondo. Again, Rondo missing. You can't afford to let guys get comfortable there. The defense somehow avoided that shot from going in. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. Yeah, his shooting has been on target here in the second frame after not being able to get anything going in the first. There's Diallo after the made shot from Zach Levine. And Cousins throws it down. Now Cousins, with his height, is able to get up there and jam that one down. Get the ball deep to him on the inside, and pretty much he'll take care of the rest. Now here's Levine. He's got 10. Now Lopez, Holiday up top. Five on the clock. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. Phenomenal use of the body there to free himself up from the defender and get a clean look at the basket. And here's Holiday. Launches it. And another three for New Orleans. Well, gorgeous outside jumper from the former UCLA Bruin. He can get hot from the three-point line if you give him room like that. Lopez a screen. Out to the right wing. Here's Grant, the kick out to Holiday. Again, Holiday missing. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. And they take the lead. And 12 points for Drew Holiday. Great decision by Holiday to sprint towards the hoop for the high percentage shot inside. Holiday, the pass to Grant. Lopez dishes to Levine, hangs in the air, and he lays it up and in. Levine's got eight points here in this quarter. Now you could just tell in his gait and in the look on his face, he's in a great rhythm after a terrific first quarter. He is feeling it here in the second. Now here is Holiday. He's got 12. Cousins with a screen on Grant. Offensive rebound. And Cousins gets it to go. Cousins has got eight points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Grant kicks to Levine. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Cousins has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. And it's good. Two points. And now a three-point Pelican lead. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Grant kicks to Levine. And the rejection by Cousins. Well, offensively, you better respect the reach of DeMarcus Cousins. Terrific at getting a hand on that one and swatting it away. You know, we talk so much about accurate shooting. Sometimes accurate passing can lead to great shooting. You saw it there. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And so much of what Cousins does on the court is unstoppable. Uh, but at times, Brent, his leadership is something that can get in the way. Well, I wouldn't technically call that leadership, Kevin. There are times where DeMarcus Cousins detracts from what it is as the ultimate goal of a team. And the early part of his career created a bit of negativity around the atmosphere of what was going on. I think over the past couple years, he's been much better. He's got a new situation now and maybe a new lease on life. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Cunningham, he's checked in for Diallo. Solomon Hill comes in for Darius Miller. Tony Allen's checked in for Drew Holland. And Ian Clark subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Here's Felicio. He has six. Here's Miritich. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Just a little lackluster so far with his effort. He's been very limited due to his poor shooting. And stolen by Valentine. <laughs> Alexis Ajinsa has checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. Now, here's Valentine. D right on him. Pondexter kicks to Valentine. And the rejection by a 
and Jinsa. Fading away to create the space. Eight points for Nikola Miritich. Pelicans leading by three. Here's Clark. He dishes it to Cunningham. Allen outside. We've got 148 left to play in the first half. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. The defender must have felt like he ran into a brick wall right there. Really great screen set to give his teammate the wide open shot. The Bulls have been good at the free throw line in this one, seven of eight. Free throw no good for Pondexter. And from the day that Anthony Davis was drafted, New Orleans had a win-now mindset. Well, that's what the decree from the upper management was. And maybe a little bit unfair to put that kind of pressure on such a young superstar talent who wanted to find his way in the NBA. The front office focused on making some trades and surrounding him right away without understanding exactly what Anthony Davis was going to be good at. Let's face it, he's still great, and there's still that opportunity for A.D. Here is Cunningham. It's Allen on the wing. It's tipped. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Shooting two. That free throw good from Allen. And for so long, the Bulls really were synonymous with the best defensive teams in the league but as a team they've started to slip the last few years it's something that has been lost while this team kind of retools for the future that one misses and it used to be you could pencil in the Bulls as a top 10 defensive team by most metrics in any given year but, Greg, the last few seasons, they've just been middle of the pack. And, you know, over the history of this team, they've always been at their best when they played great defense. You go back to those Jordan years where they were marked by exceptional defense. This last group led by Derrick Rose similarly built on a defensive-minded philosophy. Let's just see if they get back to their roots with this new push. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but he's just really struggling this quarter. Pick up by Hill. Clark, the pass to Hill. And there's the feed to Allen. Over, done. And that's not going to go. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, you're leading at the half. What will you continue to emphasize to your team? Well, I mean, defensively, we still have to be good. we got to rebound the basketball. And then we've got to continue to push the basketball and score offensively. We'll see if you can keep that going in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jeff Smith. Time to check out the first half of action. What a game it's been for Drew Holiday. He had 12 points and one assist. Kenny, your thoughts, how the Pelicans are playing. You can see where the priorities are. <laughs> rebounding, rebounding, and then more rebounding. They made a concerted effort to get the glass cleaned. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? 
Ernie, they're taking way too many threes. The offense has no rhythm. They need to go back to the drawing board. Maybe try to get a little bit more transition, more off the pick and roll. Anything other than shooting that three. It's not going. And now, folks, just moments away from the start of the third quarter. Welcome back to the hustle and bustle of Chicago, a time-lapse view of all the traffic heading toward downtown. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. One of the stories here, Drew. Bulls trail by four. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So the Bulls five right now. Markinen and Lopez are together down low. Then it's Zach Levine. Then there's Grant. And it's Holiday in at the two spot. Markinen can't get it to go. Pelicans leading by four. Shoots from the elbow. Misses off the left eye. And Chicago shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. And Markinen throws it down. And how about the hops there by Markinen? He knows not many guys can block that shot. Good at getting that deep post position. Here's Holiday. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. Holiday's got 14. I give some credit to the screen out there. That totally freed up the shooter to take advantage of that look. And it's Lopez at the elbow. And here we go. Fast break. Cousins has got it. Pass to Holiday. Here's Diallo. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot too. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. We see it so often a player will languish in one system then flourish in another. Brent, during your 14-year career, which coach's system fit you the best? Year? Well, I think my years in Seattle, we opened up the offense a little bit. I had the opportunity to play more of a, a point off guard. But I also enjoyed the structure of what Greg Popovich's system in San Antonio offered up as well. It's always interesting, Kevin, with players who are languishing on benches for other ball clubs, how general managers start to assess whether that guy can be part of something great if they were to bring him in. I had the opportunity to play for a lot of great coaches and thought that I mixed up my game enough to make it a long career. He hits the second from the line. And the Pelicans at last season's trade deadline making the big deal for DeMarcus Cousins. You know, you look at Anthony Davis being paired with Cousins, and certainly on paper, you could make the argument that they've got the best one-two punch on the front line in the league. Uh, two Kentucky guys, great size and offensive skill in terms of their versatility. Uh, if they can surround them with shooters and some perimeter defense, I, I think this group could be scary. Grant dishes to Markinen. Outside Holiday. Good on the three-point shot. Holiday's got six. And, and just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. Holiday against Holiday. Over Holiday. They get a bet. Here's Cousins, and it's sent back by Lopez. Now the dish to Markinen. Fades. Grant kicks to Levine. Holiday with the three. Here's Lopez. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, the defender all over it. Robin Lopez, a solid big man who can clean up the glass and Greg get you some points on the other end. And Robin Lopez might not have great range now, but, you know, that could change. He says he's uh, working on a three-point shot, and his logic is that since his twin brother, Brooke, can make threes, 
it can't be that hard. <laughs> Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. Lopez hits them both. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Rondo kicks to Holiday. They set the pick to the inside. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Seven points in the game. Great job by Holiday keeping his head on a swivel, finding his man with the perfect pass there to finish off the pick and roll. Grant kicks to Holiday. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Comes up empty off the pick. Now here is Holiday. 14 points for him. Cousins with a screen for Holiday. Diallo kicks to Cousins. Lopez with the block. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. He feeds it to Grant. Misses the three. New Orleans leading by four. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. But he gets it back. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those that play here, he's getting every offensive rebound. Right side, Rondo. Pass to Cousins. Lock at six over Lopez. That doesn't go either for Cousins. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And again, no good by New Orleans. And, you know, not sure if it's him or the defense, but just something's off tonight. Well, something in this frame for sure, but when you're out of rhythm, sometimes it's better to play the role of being the facilitator. Screen by Cousins. Upside Rondo. Kicks to Cousins. Trying to break that ice cold streak, and that's going to be a travel. And a chance here to take a look at the shooting chart for Cousins. And every time he's pulled up from deep and let it fly, it's found a way to catch iron. Not sure if it is something with his release or the defense is bothering him on his threes, but I would expect him to attack the rim a bit just to kind of mix things up. Chicago trailing here. Levine with it. He's got 14. To the paint. Got a piece of it. For the tie, Lopez. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul called on the New Orleans Pelicans. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And just 72% from the line a season ago. Not the greatest of numbers, but there are guys who are far worse off when it comes to free throw shooting. Shooting two. That's good from Lopez. Alvin Gentry has to be proud that the responsibilities of playing defense for their squad last year was something that they accepted. They went from a bottom three team to a top ten team defensively just last season. And so he's able to get one of two. And with more talent, you think the Pelicans have a chance, Brent, to step their offense up this season? Oh, I absolutely do. I think the amazing part about last year is that the Pelicans ended up sliding their way up into the top ten defensively. That's an area where the likes of a team like the Denver Nuggets needs to make their improvement. Maybe between those two teams, they're battling to find their way into the postseason. 
Bean passes to Grant. Holiday, no one around him. It's good from long range. Holiday's got six here in this quarter. Well, you can see and maybe feel right now him getting into the comfort zone out there after dropping the second three of the half. Diallo kicks to Rondo. There's the screen. Over Grant. Rondo, no good. Yeah, another missed opportunity, and, and you can just see the frustration. Yeah, when your shot's in the fridge like this, it's easy to lose your confidence, and that's why some of the most prolific scorers, they have short-term memories. Kick out to Levine. Just four to shoot. Misfires on the corner three. And that's a rare sight. Usually shooters make the defense pay when they're that lackadaisical. The shot by Holiday, no good. And he's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. Levine dishes to Markinen outside Holiday. Yep, it counts. Holiday's got 11 points. Yeah, certainly an attitude change at halftime after sort of wandering around in the first. He's kicked it into gear here for the second frame. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Well, coming out of the timeout, let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside, try to build some confidence by seeing that ball going. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. Number one, the Bulls. Yeah, that was a huge factor for them a season ago. Their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second-chance buckets. I mean, no one did it better. Looking now at the numbers, they're done. How he performed last season. Put up about three points per game, two assists, and two rebounds. And you look at his skill set, and I think it's just a matter of time before he commands a bigger presence on this team. Yeah, just a bit rough around the edges, G.A., but he has the tools. He just needs to sharpen them. The first free throw is good. the second Allen passes to Clark pass to Hill pick up by Hill here's Cunningham and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot too the effort from Cunningham to get to the stripe did not go unnoticed taking a punishing hit from the defense there He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. And the first one drops. So Cunningham nails both of them. Chicago leading. How well done. To the left side wing. Here's Miritich. Good on the three-point shot. Miritich has got 11. Love to see it when he pulls up from the outside. A big guy with tremendous range to surprise commodity in today's NBA. There's a good screen. Hill kicks to Clark. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Clark's got his second basket of the night. And Hill can be a valuable player, someone who sees the floor very well, that time moving the ball. 
Feeds to Miritic. Stolen by Allen. And New Orleans pushing it up now. And he hits it to tie the game up. Clark's got four points this quarter. And that's what you want in transition, a high percentage opportunity. Uh, the story is true. And here the defense does a very poor job of matching up. Boy, the deep did just enough to keep him from scoring. Thought that was in for sure. And the basket by Hill. Hill taking no time to get that shot off. Once it hit his hands, it was off. Chicago has gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Miritich, the screen. Pondexter from outside. And he's good on the three ball. He has five. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Clark kicks to Allen. The baseline J. And that one comes up a bit short. Chicago's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Tony Allen. For Chicago, they have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Two shots. He throw good Pondexter. Both free throws good from Pondexter. Pelicans trail by three. Clark kicks to Hill. Dishes it to Allen. There's the pick. Shot clock at five. Off the screen. And the shot is long. The Bulls leading by three. Here's Valentine. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Here's Clark. He's got seven. Cunningham dishes it to Allen. Looking to end the run. They grab their own miss. Ajinsa kicks to Allen. There's the pass to Cunningham. Switch, 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 switch. To the wing on the left. The feed now to Clark. New Orleans moving the ball around. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Dunn. And Chicago shooting around 44% in this third quarter. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. Pelicans trail by six. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Ajinsa kicks to Cunningham. Pass to Miritic. And finished off by Miritic. And right now, the game plan seems to be working. It looks like this team has finally gotten into the club and found its rhythm. 
trying their best to pull away. New Orleans has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Clark, the pass to Cunningham. Allen outside. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And a look here at the shot chart for Chicago. Well, when you have a whole team that is locked in, this is what your shot chart looks like. They are moving the ball well and taking shots with confidence. When this team comes out and is knocking it down from all over like they are right now, they are one of the toughest in the league to beat. Free throw, no good. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. the Bulls, leading by eight. And it's done in the corner. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Down low. Here's Hill. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. Uh, Hill burrowing inside. And because of his size, he's able to do that, get around the rim and finish. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And a year ago, he was an 80% shooter at the line. So that's more than acceptable. smart about taking quality shots he can play either forward position it's a nice bit of versatility for a coaching staff Miritich dishes to Dunn back to Miritich buries the long range jumper Miritich has got eight points here in this quarter the assist totals Kevin just continue to grow they're way ahead in that category ball movement has been flawless the defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. And sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. Done. Back to Felicio. He kicks to Dunn. And there's the whistle. That goes on Chris Dunn. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. down the first one. And so Clark nails both of them. Here's Grant. It could go and released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's the Chicago Bulls heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Alvin Gentry. Guys, we got to be more solid, okay? We got to be more solid defensively. So we got to we got to dig in. We got to guard, okay? And then we got to execute our offense. A lot of things on that list. Trying to refocus his troops. Moments ago, coach Alvin Gentry. 
Yeah, the, the energy's all right, but the execution definitely could be better with and without the basketball. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. On the court for the Pelicans, getting the fourth quarter going. Ian Clark out there with Tony Allen. Then it's Alexis Ajinsa, then it's Cunningham, and it's Cousins in at the five down low. Well, I like to watch when DeMarcus Cousins outworks any defender. He finds ways to score. Even with the aggressive defense surrounding him, he'll find a gap. Screen by Grant. There's the pick. Now here's Valentine. Defended by Allen. Charity stripe shot. Gets rebounded by New Orleans. Ajins has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Allen shot is off. The Bulls leading by five. Here's Pondexter. And the rejection by Ajinsa. Good work there as it goes. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Here's Clark. He's covered by Grant. Clark kicks to Allen. Here's Cousins. It's deflected. In a tough game for the guys around him, mainly because his shot's been hit and miss. Miritich's shot is off. That's a great effort on defense. He definitely rushed his shot a little bit down low. Clark for three. And he's good on the three ball. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. And you don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Robin Lopez is checked in for Felicio. Markinen comes in for Miritich. Levine's checked in for Quincy Pondexter. And Justin Holliday is subbed in for Valentine. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Diallo, he's checked in for Alexis Aginsa. Miller comes in for Cunningham. Drew Holliday, he's checked in for Tony Allen. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Ian Clark. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Fred Hoiberg was talking to his team during the timeout. He was pretty clear cut to them. He said, look, we need to play with some edge out there. I don't care what the lead is. Do not back off. Oh, that's great TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Grant kicks to Levine. Here we go with Holiday. And he get up the court. It's good. Always tough to work the closer you get to the basket. Nice job of finding an angle on the pass there. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. There's Levine. Good D by Miller. The Pelicans have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. And Holiday has it in the corner. Cousins with a screen on Holiday. And Holiday kicks to Diallo. No good. That would have tied it. Bulls have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Here's Levine. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got five assists in the game. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. They set the pick. Miller outside. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. The dish to Levine. Markinen sets the pick for Levine. Out to the wing. There's the triple. Markinen, good. And it's a seven-point Bulls lead. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? New Orleans has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Rondo kicks to Miller. Back to Rondo. And it's sent back by Lopez. Miller against Levine. Here's Lopez. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on DeMarcus Cousins.
shooting two. Bad free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. Pelicans trail by eight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Holiday, the pass to Diallo. To the inside, Rondo. Right through the D for the layup. Rondo's got four points in the quarter. They are just killing them on the interior. Friend against Rondo. There's the pick. And Levine, here we go. And Levine throws it down. And this is why defensively you can't afford to let Levine get to the rim. Too much explosiveness. The Pelicans have gone 5 of 12 from the field entering the fourth quarter. Screen by Cousins. Here's Miller. And Cousins throws it down. Oof, this guy is a beast on the board. And when he gets those second chance points, G.A., he does mm. not waste one of them. Well, you love the NBA, but some of these guys have the DNA. He also outworks everybody. Filthy combination. Grant dishes to Levine. Back to Grant. Outside Levine. To the middle. Here's Lopez. Here's Grant. Pelicans with the rebound. And the defense is just not very aggressive. Definitely fortunate that the mid-range jumper did not find the bottom of the net that time. Well, a few things have become clear with Rondo in the past few seasons. One, Greg, he needs to be happy with his situation in order to be productive. And two, he can give you big numbers at times, but he isn't the player he once was on that Celtic team. Yeah, and, and Rondo, just he's such a hard-headed guy and has his own way of approaching things. If you clash with him, everything goes up in flames with his game. He needs to be on the same page with his coach, and he's running out of coaches who will put up with him. He misses the free throw. And there's no denying that Rondo is a wizard with the ball, exceptional at exploiting holes in the defense. And he's good on the second. Chicago leading by five. Grant kicks to Levine. He dishes it to Lopez. On the wing, Levine covered by Miller. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Clearly a foul. Now, gentlemen. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. So Levine nails both of them. Pelicans trail by seven. And here's Holiday. Pass to Diallo. Miller dishes to Holiday. Cousins with a screen on Holiday. Pulls it from the elbow. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Bulls have gone five of ten, 50% from the field. And again, no good by Chicago. New Orleans has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. On the money with the shot from the left block. Love the rhythm that Drew showed on that catch and shoot jumper. Chicago leading by five. Now here's Levine. 
The shot by Markin and nobody around. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got his third assist on the night. Rondo kicks to Diallo. Back to Rondo. He feeds it to Cousins. Down low. Stolen by Levine. Rondo with the steal. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Baseline try. The putback. Cousins on the follow. And he is really in a zone right now. Playing and scoring with confidence. Miller against Levine. And the rejection by Cousins. And now the fast break. Rondo with the ball. Kicks to Holiday. They set the pick. Back to Rondo. Puts it up from 17. Hits some rim on the way in. And the bucket's good. And now just a four-point Bulls lead. Rondo against Grant. Inside. And Markinen with the basket on the assist from Lopez. Lopez has got three assists tonight. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with, and look how engaged he is on both ends. Rondo kicks to Holiday. Miller with a screen on Levine. Lock at six. Screen by Cousins from the wing. Rondo can't get it to go. And I know we want to assume these shots are going in. The defense definitely blew an assignment there, but still got lucky. Here's Grant, and he converts the layup. And now it's an eight-point Bulls lead. Now he's torching the D right now, hitting a high percentage of all the shots he's let fly. Stolen by Grant. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Levine with the ball. The lead pushed to double digits. Levine's got 12 points here in the second half. Yeah, good job with the anticipation and, and then the quick hands results in points off the break. Now, sometimes you calculate the risks, and he did it there, but couldn't have turned out any better. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Robin Lopez. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It. It, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with the rejection. And with every block, he's only gotten more and more fired up. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. The Bulls leading by 10. Here's Levine, and the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. One shot. That one misses for Levine. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Can they get it? Can't hit that one. And the Bulls going the other way now. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got six assists here tonight. And each bucket at this point feels like a backbreaker. Well, to win at this level consistently, you cannot be faint of heart, and he's going in for the kill from 15 feet away and yep finally drops after rolling around the rim and this is why he's one of the top scorers in the game he could just get it rolling at the drop of a hat Arkin in passes to Grant Lopez a screen to the left wing Arkin in kicks to Holiday that three off the mark Pelicans trail by 12 
Holiday with it. Now defended by Grant. Miller dishes to Rondo. Passes it to Holiday. Here's Cousins. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Cousins has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Well, down on the offensive glass, Cousins is so powerful and a great job there of reading the angle to collect one. Grant against Ronda. Levine wide open. Those three pointers off the mark. Well, the defense better look up and say thanks. Leaving guys that wide open is not a recipe for success. 17 foot shot on the way. Chicago has gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Bulls. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions. And the nice night it ended up being for Zach Levine. And he was remarkable. Absolutely destroyed the opposition. Any matchup he had tonight, it felt like he was going to dominate. Holiday, the pass to Miller. They set the pick. Feeds the Cousins. Over Lopez. Hits the front of the rim and out. And so Chicago takes this one. And by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one. But they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game and whenever there was a misstep they just didn't allow it to fester and that's why they're going to walk away with the win well folks that's going to do it for now for brett berry greg anthony and david aldridge this is kevin harlan along with our 2k sports crew see you later